Just in time for the busy holiday season, I thought I would show you how to do a super classic cat eye and red lip. The first thing I do is exfoliate my skin with the Pond's Exfoliating Renewal Wet Cleansing Towelettes. This is such an easy way to exfoliate. Um, and then I have an alternative use for them that you'll see here in a second. And then I apply the Pond's Rehoofiness Anti-Wrinkle Cream. This is super hydrating and I want my skin to look glowy and healthy. Um, and this cream helps my skin do just that. I am applying the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup for a full coverage foundation. I really want the whole look to look flawless and this foundation will do that for me. After a foundation, I like to use those exfoliating towelettes to clean my lips off, especially since we're doing a red lip at the end of this look. For under eye concealer, I'm using the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer in the lightest shade. For eyeshadow, all I'm using is the Maybelline Color Tattoo Metal in number 70, Barely Branded. My go-to eyeliner for a really dark, bold finish is the Benefit Their Real Push-Up Liner in black. This takes a little getting used to because it is like a gel liner consistency in a very soft pen type applicator. It's really just worth checking out um, if you're interested in it, but um, I do my liner the way I do it normally, but at the end I will pull my eyelid out a little bit very, very gently and extend that line to create a bit of a cat eye effect. So the focus is on the cat eyeliner and lots of lashes. So I'm using my Shoot Umira Lash Curler and then I will alternate Benefit's Roller Lash and then the Cherry Bloom Lash Fibers to create a really full and long lash look. I'm dusting just the lightest bit of MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation in N4 to take any shine off my foundation. With the Hourglass Arch Brow Pencil, I'm filling in my brows and making them a little bit more bold than I typically wear them, but that goes a long way when my eyeshadow is a little lighter, so focus is on the eyeliner and the lashes, but nice full brows really complete the entire look. Now the color is really going to come in with the lipstick, so I'm just going to do a contour under my cheekbones to add a little definition to my face. Mm -hmm. 
To prep my lips for red lipstick, which most people need to do, I'm using the Bite Line and Define Lip Primer, and this will keep the red lipstick in place and help it go on really smoothly. And then the red lipstick I chose was also by Bite, their High Pigment Lip Pencil in Pomegranate. I hope you enjoyed this very classic makeup tutorial and thanks for watching.